Okay, I had some people say that I was a little too quick and didn't get my uh, point across well about my free iTunes, my free ringtones from your for your iPhone from a iMac or a MacBook Pro or so forth. You know, another Macintosh computer. Well, I'm gonna try and explain. I'm gonna try and use a camera here to actually show you. What you'll need is this program right here at the bottom, which is GarageBand. It's factory on all of your actual Macs and so forth that have come with OS 10 or better, which is Tiger, Leopard, so forth. Now, what else you're going to need is an iTunes. You know, everybody knows iTunes. I don't have to really show it. But see, I have mine pulled up here. Now, what you're going to want to do is make sure somewhere in your iTunes, the song you want, you have it imported and not bought off iTunes. If you buy it off iTunes website in the iTunes store, it will not work because it has a DRM on it and they're trying to prevent people from using their music in DRM format. Now, the DRM won't let you make a ringtone. Alright, so let's open GarageBand. GarageBand's open, right? So I'll start it from square one. I'll close. I had it open. I'll close it real quick. Okay, GarageBand kicks up with this little thing right here. Now you're, what you're going to want to do is you want to create a new project. When you create your new project, title it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave my my song 30 because I never title them. So you create your project. It'll pop up with a keyboard, and on this keyboard, of course, you'll be able to play music if you want. But that's not what we're here to do. We're here to make ringtones. Now, if you want to make a custom ringtone, if you're musically inclined, you can go through this little keyboard. And it has this neat little thing where it explodes. You can use the keyboard. And if you're musically in tal talented, uh, inclined or talented, it's a great tool for you. You can also go through and switch to any, anything you want. You know, any, there's tons. Bass, guitars, electric, all kinds of stuff. But that's not what we're here for. Now, to show you all what we need is you come down here in the bottom right, you'll see this little thing right here. It's this one. This opens up to have your iTunes. So you go up here to the top and you select audio, go to your iTunes, choose where your music's at. You can even go through your playlist and then you can come through here. Uh, I'm just going to make a ringtone out of, I don't have a clue. I've made just about all of them I want. Uh, let's just go with Fallen by, well, we'll go with Serenity from Godsmack. All right, you want Serenity, so you can play it. Make sure it's the song you want. You can double click them and then to stop it you press this play button down here or to play it again. Now that's if you want to preview it. So now you've done previewed it, you like it. You want it as your ringtone. You drag its picture from there to over in here. Let me zoom out so y'all can see what I'm doing. See I've drag I've drug it, click and hold and drag it into this window, this white box. And this white well it's actually gray but it'll load your song and show a wave pattern on the wave pattern is where you're going to start your work now I can zoom in a little bit and show y'all what else alright now you can press the play button at the bottom this one here and it'll play going across with your scan bar now you can listen for where you want it but we're just going to make it from the beginning so you you stop it from playing, you take it to the beginning. Now you come up here to where it says share. Under share, you're going to see send ringtone to iTunes. Click. Now it comes up with a little warning. Sorry about being inaccurate. And it tells you that a ringtone needs to be a repeating section of your song that is 40 seconds or less. To change the length manually, click and click cancel and then click cycle button. Well, I never got that to work for me. But what you'll do is you hit the adjust button. 
Now, at the very top, you have this extra yellow bar. This extra yellow bar is your ringtone, or what's going to become your ringtone. You're going to want to drag it out to 40 seconds. Now, remember, this me it's a music program, so it measures and measures. Switch it to time. All you do is click it. So now, at the top, it'll have seconds instead of measures. Now scroll it over. I mean if you want maximum 40 seconds you can get maximum. You can have 40 seconds or less. So if you want to say a person's name, let's say you can record somebody's name and import in here and then boom it works. I mean you can import from anywhere. It doesn't have to be from iTunes. And you can actually record audio with the program. So okay we got our 40 seconds. And it's gonna sound something like our ringtone will be this song for 40 seconds from the beginning. So now we've got our song. We got 40 seconds nailed. Now you can click and drag this 40 second bar wherever you want along the song to find where you want it to be. But that's a whole nother thing. So now you'll stop your music. You'll bring it back. Now with your being able to slide it, choose her. Oh, what did I do? Uh oh. If you do something like I just did, I don't know what I just did. Oh, I guess I got rid of it. Oops. Okay, there it's back. I just brought it back. I guess I slid it the wrong way or something. Just slide it to according to where you want it in the song, what you want to be your ringtone, 40 seconds or less. Now that you have it where you want, don't play it or anything. Just go back up to share. Oh, come on. Focus. Camera focus. Hold on. Well, it's not focusing very well. Don't know why. There we go. Alright, you go back to share. Click the same button again because you'll have your yellow bar at the very top. When you click it this time, you're going to see it do this little number. And boom, you see there, my song 30, and you scroll up, and it's under ringtones. That's it, guys. That's all there is to it. Rename it, whatever, you're done. I hope this clarifies it. Thank you. Have a good day.